And welcome back to another reaction video. Yesterday's video, after posting it, I had like dozens of people send me their website links. So I figured I'll just continue and react to another website. Um, just because um, I talk about SEO and you know website op optimization. And this Tuesday, I'm actually opening up enrollments into SEO for detailers. That's my online marketing course where I teach you how to properly rank your website on the first page of Google to generate leads and sales. So if you're interested in that, this Tuesday, the 14th, I'll be opening up enrollments. Anyway, let's get started with the website. This one is from justcleanit.com. Um, he sent me his websites uh, through Instagram DM. So let's go ahead and give you a quick, or not quick run through, but a, a run through of this website. Okay, so boom. I have the mindset that I am a potential customer. I don't know anything about detailing. I just know that, you know, and it's gonna depend on what the, on what the you know, customer wants, right? Do I want my interior clean? Do I want paint correction? Do I, want, do I want a ceramic coating? So depending on what the customer wants, it's gonna put them in a different mindset and mind frame than, you know, the next person. So if I, let's say, wants a correction and coating, let's go with that. Let's say I'm a customer that wants a correction and coating. So I, I've never had this before. Um, I'm looking at my area. I don't have any recommendation. So let's see if this website can um, give me the confidence to say this person knows what they're doing and I want to get them to do my, my, or at least I want to inquire about getting my vehicle corrected and coated with this company. So I land on here, I look at it and I say, okay, let's see what we got here. Um, so it says licensed and certified ceramic coating installer flex technician. So what context does that, oh, oh what, con what, what context does that give me? Licensed and certified. You know, does that, not that being licensed and certified isn't good, but like, are you giving more context at first eyesight of like, what does that mean? Uh, ceramic coating installer. So, and uh, at, from the get go, it doesn't add any value. Like what, what good does it like? What, what do I get out of reading that? Nothing. Right. Um, so then we have, uh, so again, this is the hero section here. Uh, the website uses cookies, except because I like cookies. Now here it says you have the phone number, you have the, his, his business name, just clean it mobile car wash and detail will help you drive in style. So that's a pretty common mistake. People make is trying to find catchy phrases. You, don't worry about the wittiness. Don't worry about these catchy t uh, uh, phrases. Why? Because you want to let the customer know you are in the right spot. You're here because you want this service and I can perform that service for you. Saying we'll help you drive, uh, we'll help you drive in style. It's like, my man, I, I want a corrected and coded vehicle. Can you do that? Does anything that I see right here reinforce that thought? No. So um, I would, and I know you want to put the Tesla because it looks cool. One, I got to, I got to bob my head to the side to look at it straight. So. I would not have this photo in the background because it's like, I gotta do this to see the vehicle. So post one that's like proper, like, you know, like it's, 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 a uh, it's, um, the framing is correct. Like just dead center. Um, I would also, I would also put an overlay on the image and make it darker because I can't see the text. Like I gotta like squint my eyes to see what it says. Um, so I would definitely work on that. Like I, I, it's hard to read the, um, the text. And again, like, everything that your website does is like, how can I make this the easiest experience for the person to say, hey, I know what I'm doing. And if I gotta do one of these here to read the text, it's already not in your favor. So put, fix the, uh, orientate the photo correctly or use a different photo. Uh, put a, make the overlay darker. That way the text is easier to read. Next again, we don't need to know your business name. Um, no one needs to know your business name. No one needs to know your business name. Um, not not when you're on your website, right? Like you have just clean it as a URL. You have just clean it as, as a page title. You have just clean it as your H1. Like I don't need to know more of your business name. I need to know, can you do this for me? Can you correct and, and, and quote my vehicle? So far on the first half a second, I'm like, well, I haven't found anything from here, you know? So I would work on optimizing your H1, just clean it. Like again, so, Here's when it comes to copywriting, like writing, writing text, writing copy, writing words, is that no one cares about you. They only care about themselves. That's from Neville Medora. I think that's where I read it. Where like no one cares about your business name. No one cares about like, no one. Like what can you do for me? I am the one that's looking for someone to spend money with. I need my problem solved. Can you do it? Me reading your name again, mobile car wash in detail. It doesn't add any context. It doesn't give me any value. It doesn't, it doesn't help me decide should I keep on reading? As a matter of fact, I take that back. If like, so let's say there's there's a graph, right? Or there's a bar, right? 
And to your right, the further you go right is the more confidence that they have in booking with you. If they go to the left, that means the less confidence they are in booking with you. So with every interaction, with every touch point, with every page, with every word, it's does it go to more confidence or less confidence? So because it doesn't give you more confidence, the bar moves to the left and it's less confidence. So with here, I'm saying, eh, okay, well, whatever, you know, I'm not really finding much. So optimize that H1 right in a way that solves their problem immediately, or at least it says, okay, hey, keep on reading. So if, if in my head, I'm like, I need a, a, corre a correction in coding. What if instead of saying, just clean, just clean it, mobile car wash and detail, what if you wrote highly rated paint correction specialist in, I don't even know where you are. Where are you? Uh, you are in, I don't even know where you are. Um, so that's pretty bad. Um, so let's say you're in Austin. Ta uh, a highly rated paint correction specialist in Austin. Which one sounds better? Just clean it, mobile car wash and detail, or uh, highly rated paint correction specialist in Austin, Texas? Which one? And instead of here saying, we'll help you drive in style, what if you reinforce that statement of highly rated with over 75 five-star reviews? Which one sounds better? Just clean it, mobile car wash in detail, will help you drive in style or highly rated or top rated paint correction specialist in Austin, Texas. And underneath the subtext there is um, over 85 five-star reviews. Which one's gonna be like, okay, this person knows, you know, they're, they're, I, I, should, I should investigate more into this business. So now I'm gonna scroll down. Okay, another thing also is there is no navigation. You have a home page or just this. Oh, is this, is this a one website page? A one a one page website? Oh, it is. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so that's no bueno either. So yeah, off the bat, if there's no navigation, meaning it's a it's a one page website, I already know it's not gonna do well, or you're making your life so much easier, uh, so much harder by only having a one page website. Um, but again, the, the the page title here, as per always, that, I, that I'm, always, I'm I'm gonna mention almost every time is that it's not optimized. Um, so yeah, so book your appointment, where does this take us? It's a phone call, okay, I don't care about that. So let's go here, menu price list. Uh, don't worry, we come to you. Again, so like it's, it's, it's like, um, not that that's bad, but I would add a minimum, add a minimum, word it differently, because already here it says um, mobile car wash in detail, and then right underneath that it says, don't worry, we come to you. It's like, yeah, you already said that over there. So you don't, you don't need to reinst you don't, you don't need to see the same thing twice, especially because like it's kind of low value, like because you already said it here. Not that it's bad, but I would just like, you know, every word, every sentence, everything that you bold, it's like, does that customer have more confidence or less confidence? Um, taking car detailing to a new level. Again, that's more of just catchy. Like this is odd. It, it just sounds like like catchiness of like wittiness of, you know, you're saying something, you know, kind of kind of with style that, that's gonna grab the customer's attention. It's not. They wanna know, can you help me solve my problem? That's what I need. Can you solve my problem? Um, so you have to address that. Uh, so let's continue here. Uh, taking car detailing to a new level. Ceramic coating application, three plus years of protection. Sedans, 850. So, uh, this is very confusing. Yeah, so this in itself is already pretty conf confusing. Um, because like, I'm, mm, yeah, it's pretty confusing. Uh, ceramic coating application, three plus years of protection. Sedans, 850. Where, what about the other vehicles? Or is this all based on sedans? Okay, it is, yeah. So. I would rather, I, as far as design wise, like it's much easier to read black text on a white background versus a black background and white text. Uh, but uh, here, I, it's okay. See, so yeah, so it, it's it's kind of confusing because you have sedans eight eight fifty plus, and then here you have trucks, vans, SUVs nine seventy five plus. So it's I'm already confused. Like I, I don't. If this is the first time me looking at like me looking at someone and trying to find someone, I'm kind of I'm kind of confused. Actually, not kind of. I am confused. Exterior hand wash, foam bath. Again, like don't try to put this like long list of like what you do if it's not necessary. Um, you wanna get straight to the points of what the customer actually is gonna get from it. And you know, exterior hand wash, foam bath. Those could be one bullet point and you can condense that to make it sound cleaner and better. 
Actually, these next three, spot free, like exterior hand wash, foam bath, spot free rinse, those all can be combined into one thing and make it sound way better, cleaner, and natural. Um, because like right now, like what context, like foam bath, like what, what does that mean? There's no context behind that. Um, spot free rinse, like what does that mean? Do you, th does the customer understand what you're trying to say? What does it mean by spot free rinse? Um, clay bar treatment to remove embedded debris, once that polish remove minor defects. Uh, again, like I, I, that's why you have to create one page, like a specific page for every service that you offer. So for this one, if it's a, again, it's just confusing, like a ceramic coating application, but what about the, it's a little confusing, but let's say this is like a, like a paint correction page, right? You would create a dedicated page on paint correction and share all the details on there. Uh, because like you're trying to keep things super concise because like you're putting everything into this one page and it's like, you just can't, like you have to dedicate an entire page to each service so you can really go into detail of what every single, what, what what's all entails in that service. Uh, so let's keep on reading here. Um, yeah, like this is really just like off the bat, it's very, very confusing. Not even confusing, but I, I, get, I have no context on this. Like what, like it, it's hard to read this. The pricing is weird. Like you have sedans over here and then trucks, vans, SUVs over here. Um, like I, I would have been clicked away. Like I would have been gone to like three other websites by now because it's, it's, it's so hard to read. Bronze wash, prices, okay, engine bay cleaning, and yeah, so yeah, it's, so for here, because it's a one pay, okay, let's see here, what happens if I book? Um, yeah, this one, I, I'm just not a fan of using this. Um, I'm not a big fan of that, view all services, yeah. So this this is a one page website, and which I, I highly, highly recommend against it. Okay, so yeah, that's, let's see here. Um, Santa Barbara's finest. Hello, er okay, so this is also a very, 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 oh, okay, big, big, big common mistake here. Um, not just you, it's like mechanics, lawyers, dentists, everyone makes this mistake, okay? So don't, it's not, I'm not picking on you, this is literally everyone's mistake. Santa Barbara's finest, no context there. Um, hello there, everyone. My name is Johnny, owner and operator of Just Clean It Mobile Car Wash and Detail. Already, no one cares about that, right? Because not that you can't have an about us section, but you should have an about us page. And if someone cares about reading about you, they'll go click on about us. But especially on the home page, it's not something that you should be like, like front and center, hey, this is something important you should read about me. No. Hello there, everyone. My name is Johnny, owner and operator of Just Clean It Mobile Car Wash and Detail. As a young entrepreneur with a distinct eye for detail, I decided to go to the extra step and acquired certification in the following. PNS Ceramic Coating Certified, Certified Flex Technician, Interior Diesel Certified. With a passion for taking care of our great customers, seeing the before and after we do our work is very satisfying. When they receive their vehicle and the jaw drops is the reason why I continue to strive for ways to achieve great results like we always have. So, no one cares about you. They only care about themselves. So let me, let me, let's see. Let me go for a website. Let me find literally any website. Let me go to close.io or dot com. I think there is now. This is just something that I just, I, I thought about this one. So this is a sales uh, CRM software. So their main headline, their main H1 is turn more leads into revenue. So let's say, let's say for instance, I am a sales rep. I have a, I have a sales staff, right? I have, I have four salespeople um, and I'm like, okay, we're doing everything manually on Google Sheets. Let, I need to go find some software, right? Let's, let's kind of streamline this. So I go to close.com and the first thing that says is this turn more leads into revenue. Boom, it's hard like, okay. I see what the software does. It helps me make more money, right? Off the first thing, that, the, the most prominent thing that you see is turns more leads into revenue. Awesome, I'm already hooked. And if you see here on the, on the next thing, it says high adoption, high performance. Get the all-in-one CRM built just for sales teams. So this isn't for customer support tickets. This isn't for your marketing team to, 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 to talk with each other. This isn't a, a, a company-wide communication tool. This is just for salespeople to turn more leads into revenue. So. Off the bat, first thing, first second you read is like, oh, okay, if I'm a sales rep, if I'm a director of sales, if I am somewhere in the sales department, if I'm the CEO, if I'm the CEO and I, and I have to go and get a, a system set up for my sales reps, I'm looking for a sales software. Boom, that answers that question immediately. This is, this is like, it's already giving you the value proposition. This software turns your leads into more revenue. This tool will make you more money. So you see how like they're instantly telling you what this is. They're giving you the value proposition from the very get-go. It says, hey, this tool helps you achieve this. 
And they reinforced that with the subtext, get the all-in-one CRM built just for sales teams. This is just a sales team tool. I don't need you if you wanna go and get a Slack alternative or or a customer support uh, alternative or you wanna upload court. No, 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 this is just for sales teams and not individual people, for sales team. Um, so they make it even easier on the bottom part. Start your free trial, 14-day free trial, no credit card required. So they are making it dead simple, value proposition firsthand. They are doing everything they can that within the first half millisecond of a millisecond, they're saying, this is the place that you should be. We're doing everything for you to help your sales team succeed. Look how easy it is. Just put in your email address and you can already get started making more money. Now, software like this, SaaS, software as a service, they know what they're doing, okay? They 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 got they're probably they're probably funded. They have like some some they're they're, they're venture backed. They have a pretty big team now. Uh, side note: I actually tried to work for them back in 2014. I actually sent an email to the CEO saying, "Can I work for them?" Um, back when I was like super into into like the tech startup world. But um, as as you can see, the stark difference between knowing exactly who you're writing for, what you want them to achieve as far as the visitor what the impact you want to have with your with your copy versus hello there everyone my name is johnny owner and operator right so imagine if if close uh, if close.com was like hi there i am steli efty and i am the ceo of close.com and i started off as a sales rep in 2014 and after so much frustration i wanted to create the best software for salespeople. so that's why i spent the last 10 years creating the best like no like let's see here let's see here in total right here in the in the in the in the in the h1 and the subtext total words is 18 words there's 18 words here that tells you exactly what you're going to get why you should sign up how to like what this is for like it gives you everything in 18 words this whole section right here has 55 words and it doesn't have any type of impact so no one cares about you they only care about themselves. They know that, right? We need to solve what the customer has. We need to solve the primary question that the customer has in their head. And how can we address that from the very get go? And as you scroll down, everything just reinforces the main thing. We turn leads, we turn leads into revenue. My voice is cracked. So boom, the next big text, win more deals with industry leading intuitive sales tools win more deals with industry leading, meaning, hey, we're already at the top. Like you're, you're looking for this for software, we're, we're at the top, we're the top echelon, right? We're, 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 with the, we're, we're rubbing shoulder with the big boys. Intuitive sales tool, man, look, Salesforce, oh, that's a, you, you gotta get consultants. There's all these triggers and automations and these macro, these macro commands and it, it, that, that's too much. Our tool, one, it's out there with the big boys and two, it's intuitive. You don't have to spend 10 hours setting up this system. You put your, your, your credit card in, it's a 14 day free trial and you'll already be up and running with our intuitive software. You see the difference, how everything is reinforced to that, to that value proposition of turn more leads into revenue. So as we go down here, never miss a hot lead. So here they have a bunch of features that they can highlight, right? They have, uh, they probably have a bunch of features. I don't know all the features because I don't really know this tool, but see here, so they have a, uh, these are all the, fe all the features that they have, correct? So of all of them, of all the features that they could choose, they're gonna choose on the hot point. They're gonna choose the one that says, hey, this is what people want because I know that this is the biggest complaint that we get when we're talking to sales reps, when we're talking to our customers, when we're you know, dealing with, uh, this is the main talking point. Never miss a hot lead. Everything reinforces the value proposition. Turn more leads into revenue. Boom, we scroll down, the first feature that they're selling is never miss a hot lead. So everything here reinforces just, hey, where the where the software you need, where the software you need, where you need for your sales team, just put your in, your email in. You don't even get charged anything for the first fourteen days. Sign up, please. We're the right tool. So that's the mindset you need to have when you're writing your pages, right? It's knowing the customer, knowing their pain points, knowing what they want, knowing what they need, knowing what what question that they have in their head, and addressing all that in your copy. I hope this video is not too long. I'll end it right here actually because I went into pretty great detail about copy. Let me know in the comment section down below, what do you struggle with on your website? Um, again, just send me your DMs, um, send me your website URL, 
at my uh, Instagram DM, which is Oscar, Oscar, which is uh, at Detail Groove, and I'll make one. Again, this Tuesday, the 14th, I'll be opening up enrollments into my online marketing course, SEO for Detailer. So if you're interested in learning more about how to properly optimize your website for search engine traffic, you can sign up there, and I just kind of give you the full rundown. It comes with 90 days of coaching with me via email, and you can just ask me whatever questions, and I will do my very best to help you get ranked on the first page of Google. I'll end it right here. Check the video description below for any of the links to my guides or the podcast. You can find it all there. And I'll talk to everyone on the next one. Bye-bye.